We will now discuss how we can implement those uh, decoder circuits. So on the one left, uh, this is the active high decoder. The outputs are only the output that is one that is that is chosen. So we call it one of four decoder. These decoders because it has the only one of the output is chosen at one time. Let's see how we can implement this circuit. Let's look at the only the first channel C0. So in, th in terms of uh, min terms, so when AB is 0, 0, C0 is 1. So that means only A0 and B0 will be your C0. So if you think about that, th this is a AND gate with its inputs A0 and B0. So this is your C0. We can do it with all four outputs, one AND gate for each of them, and you have your C1, C2, and C3. So your inputs will be A not B, A B not, and A B. Here's the, um, uh, when you implement the circuits, now you need to put all your A nuts and all. But since there are some inputs that are shared, so you can actually put a line for both A and B. But you can also put a line with just a nut gate to represent your A nut and B nut. And you can now make your connection, so you don't have to do. You have have to put a not everywhere, the, the not gates. So this is going to be a not, b not, a not, b, a, b not, and a, b. So let's look at the one line how we can implement the, how how it works. Let's look at this one when a is one and b is zero. So when a is one and b is zero, this is going to be zero, one, a one zero, zero, one, one, and one zero. So with these combinations, this is an AND gate. If one of the inputs are zero, the output is going to be zero. Only C2 will generate a 1. So that way you chose only this output. Only one output is 1 at one time. So when it comes to active low decoder, the symbol is again exactly the same except it has these bubbles. That means when an output is selected, let's say we selected this one, that is going to be 0 and all the other outputs will be 1. That is the only difference that you can see in your in the truth table. When it comes to circuit implementation, actually the idea is again the same, but since everything is exactly the opposite, you can actually implement it with NAND gates instead of AND gate. So everything is going to be the same except you will have a NAND gate here and you will put exactly the same part here. Let me let me do it quickly. This is A, B, this is your A naught this is your B naught. So your first, okay, this is A naught B naught, A naught B naught. This is A naught B, A naught B. This is A B naught, A B naught, and A B. So your outputs are 0, 1, 
2 and 3 if you do again let's say we chose this one 0 1 a is 0 B is 1 then you will get a not B not that's gonna be 1 0 this is a not B a not B this is a B not a B not and this is a B so 0 1 for an AND gate if there is one zero in the combination that will generate a one so there is no zero here so that will generate a zero these are going to be all one so this way you chose C1 which is right here